if he is Hi everyone, uh, this week I'm going to do something a little different and tell you about some of the photos I've taken over the last couple of weeks. On uh, May 26th I went with a friend to Washington Square Park, um, where horribly beautiful people were playing around in the fountain, next to which was the New York Blue Funk Orchestra. Although they were initially uh, wary of me, um, they eventually warmed up to the camera and uh, I got some, some pretty good footage of them. I came across this guy George Kearney or Kearney or something. Um, who was the first performer I've seen in Bryant Park, but uh, he only knew three chords, so I got the feeling that this wasn't his main source of income. Getting into Central Park, this guy, Ralph Hugh Williams, which if any of you have been up the mall, you will have seen him. He's always there. And just north of him, in the Bethesda Terrace, um, these two guys, Dominic and Mike, were um, jamming away, uh, singing their hearts out, really. I'd seen Dominic before, but I didn't realize that Mike was featured on American Idol. He was some sort of reality TV pop star <laughs> for 15 minutes. I met uh, Anthony Southgate on Fifth Avenue, uh, who's been busking in New York for, I think, 18 years. <laughs> and next to him was this shy young kid from Russia, Mika, who didn't want his, t his uh, photo taken. Um, but he was selling t-shirts with these, I think, famous political posters on them, or else um, artwork by um, someone. He told me he was from Vladivostok, and <laughs> I told him that I was going to go there on the Trans-Siberian Railway, and uh, he paused and then started laughing at me, uh, warning me that it was pretty dangerous. So that failed to fill me with confidence, but uh, he did go on to assure me that I'd fall in love with a beautiful Russian woman. In Times Square, Agua Clara was playing. He'd been waiting for two months for a permit, but uh, it seems like it was worth it. Um, I must have seen half a dozen CDs sold. Uh, in the short time I was there, and even this dragonfly came in to take in the show, which is a, a pretty little thing. Here's a little gem I stumbled across. I've never met three musicians who more deserve to get signed to some record label. Uh, quality sound, wicked lyrics, uh, a good presence. Uh, I've become quite excited about them. They're called the Dirty Urchins, um, and although they were missing one of their number, um, they were joined by this girl, Julie, somebody I didn't catch her last name. Uh, and I think they should keep her. Um, I bought a CD of theirs, which I'll be taking a couple of songs from to put on my site. Uh, the URL is in the sidebar. And finally, um, a couple of days ago, uh, there was a Museum Mile Festival as well. A full mile of street performers um, and street chalk and uh, smiling families, and it's uh, pretty nice. That's it. Uh, check out my other videos, youtube.com forward slash omnigut1. Um, and you can catch everything else on www.undercovernewyork.com. Thank you.